Hello everyone. So if you follow my channel, if you watch my videos, and I'm sure you know that uh, I love ThinkPad X220. And and in fact, I have two of these uh, beautiful machines. So this is my old X220. This one is uh, like a very basic model. There is no Bluetooth, but this one, this machine is something that I purchased uh, a few years ago. And uh, on this machine, I have a Windows 10 installed and that was actually the question or actually uh, uh, I believe uh, someone actually raised a ticket for me. So if you go to my website ravisagar.in, you will find like a widget where you can actually raise a ticket for me. Basically, you can ask me a question. So I received a question from someone that I want to uh, buy X220 and uh, I think that particular person was a student and I believe he if I'm not wrong, uh, was uh, getting a very good deal and he wanted to use it with uh, Windows. So I thought, okay, let us just make a very quick video. I'll uh, try not uh, to bore you with unnecessary details. So the question was that can I use Windows 10 on X220? Because usually if you, you know, follow some YouTubers and if you search online, uh, most people are using X220 with uh, Linux and especially if you're using Arch Linux then it is of course wonderful but to give you an answer yes you can use Windows 10 as well it works uh, fine uh, and again uh, I'm not really saying it will, it will be super fast for example I have this X390 this is like a wonderful machine i5 I think I, I don't even uh, know the generation of processor but uh, uh, if you are of course trying to compare uh, X220 Windows 10 performance with the uh, latest uh, machines, then of course you, know, you will be disappointed. But Windows 10 works just fine. I'm sure you can do pr programming. And for example, if I show you, this one has uh, 8 GB RAM uh, and uh, it has uh, um, i10 processor. Uh, if you look at these two machines, they are exactly the same except the Bluetooth. So uh, th this is of course, uh, I believe the X220 without Bluetooth, but this one has Bluetooth. And I think apart from Bluetooth, there is no other difference. They both have the same processor. Uh, although I didn't really upgrade the RAM on this, I, I, I don't really need to because I don't really use this machine for doing anything extraordinary. I just, uh, you know, use it for... Uh, uh, playing sometimes like maybe in like two weeks I play video games so I have RetroArch installed on this and uh, uh, I also have like those controllers which you can use to basically you know play games like Contra, Mario and I'm not really too much into gaming but you know just for the fun of it apart from doing gaming I sometimes not always sometimes I have to test few things in uh, Edge yes that is a thing I do develop websites, although I don't really do it uh, regularly, at least for other people. I have done uh, Drupal development for many years. And if you're doing a uh, Drupal development, or if you're doing any kind of web development, uh, even in 2023, majority of people are using, uh, I mean, not majority, I don't really have these stats, but I think a lot of people are still using Internet Explorer or at least Edge. Edge is definitely the case, but uh, uh, you need to, of course, you know, test it. On actual device and uh, apart from that that is it I don't really do anything else on this machine but it works fine I mean uh, I think if you are thinking of purchasing X20 and if you're getting a good deal uh, like maybe some something in the range of hundred ish dollars or euros you should definitely get this machine uh, and if you, if you if you can get something for 16 GB uh, with 16 GB RAM go for it without even thinking and even if you have 4 GB RAM or 8 GB RAM, don't worry about it because you can always upgrade because, uh, you know, that is the thing that you can do with this machine. And it has like, I mean, of course, apart from the cool factor, because it is ThinkPad X220, it has these actual buttons. And uh, of course, you know, there is this uh, wonderful uh, light. Let me just try to turn it on. I need my two hands. Give me a second. So I'll, I'll try to turn on the light if I can. Yes. So now I can turn on the light. Let me do it on the other machine as well. On my other X220, uh, which is running uh, 
Linux, Arch Linux. So uh, it works. That is my answer. And uh, you can do uh, browsing, you can do Zoom calls, you can do Google Meet calls. Uh, that will work perfectly fine. If you're thinking of running Docker or any virtualized, you know, virtual environment, of course, you'll be disappointed. Don't even think about doing uh, video editing on this uh, machine if you are on uh, Windows because the data is, of course, you know, uh, not it, it, it will not work. You can probably do like uh, full HD uh, video record, not, not recording, but editing. But don't even think about doing a 4K video editing. But for lightweight uh, gaming, web browsing, programming, and maybe, you know, are doing simple tasks this will be perfect and uh, and that is it i thought i'll probably you know share it i mean you don't have to buy thing pad x to 20 but if you can get a good deal and look at this machine for example this one is like uh like really old and if you can see i mean if you know if, i mean if you're looking at this uh, you know, video you can see the keys they are like a bit shiny on this machine because you know i use it a lot uh, but on this machine, this one is actually quite new. So when I purchased this, it was like in a pristine condition. And if, if you are like me, if you love your machines, you will, of course, maintain it. And uh, uh, it is, of course, very easy to you know maintain it because you can always you know, open it up and clean it. And uh, there's something about uh, X320, X320, you know, the texture of the, uh, uh, you, know, you know, this material. It's, it's really good. And... Uh, uh, you know, especially these the modern keyboards. For example, X390. If I open this X390, you will be. I mean, you this actually looks older than these two machines. I mean, looking at the keyboard or in fact uh, uh, the screen itself. I, I I don't know why. And by the way, none of these machines have IPS display. They are like old. But I don't really need these displays uh, because I usually uh, connect it to like my other uh, external monitor. So that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. Yes, the answer is yes. If you want to use X X20 for uh, uh, running Windows 10, you can do it perfectly fine. No problem at all. All right, that is it. Bye-bye.